100% LCFC. We've got Dan the Stuntman. Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Good to speak to you. We're looking forward to Southampton shortly, but just you've got a couple of stats from that Crystal Palace fantastic win. Yeah, we have actually. Um, it was obviously a very, very convinced. Well, I say convinced. It was a one-nil win, but again, you know, the last four games we've won one-nil. Um, we're starting to do what Man United did and, and sort of grind out results. But um, we had Mares again, outstanding. He scored more away goals than any other player. He scored actually twelve away from home. Um, so that again. You know, away from home we can do it. Um, we've got to make sure that we prove it on Saturday at home against Southampton. Um, again, looking at the stats I've got to my right hand side, um, they've equal Crystal Palace have actually now equaled their longest losing streak at home. Um, so again, we had another nail into the coffin there. But overall performance was absolutely outstanding. Um, and again, you saw at the end the togetherness. We've we've got it now. The momentum's with us. It was like at the end of the game, it was as though the fans the pennies suddenly dropped. Um, and the fans were singing for like 20, 30 minutes afterwards. Yeah. Literally wouldn't leave the ground. It was an amazing, amazing sight. And you suddenly, I, don't, I think things have changed after the Palace game, haven't they? I think they have. I think players and fans are now actually starting to realise that we can actually do it now. There's, there's that belief and there's that sort of mentality. We've had, I'd say we've had that all pretty much all season, but it's now getting to the nitty gritty and the fact we're still winning games. It's starting to become a lot more real when our football yeah. Leicester yeah. fans. So that brings us to the matches on Sunday. It's a 1.30 kick-off. You've got a few stats pre-match for us, Dan. Yeah, um, we've won 12 at home um, against Southampton. They've only won seven at the King Power. Um, we did draw two all there, um, as we remember earlier on in the season. Yeah. What a game that was, being 2 nil down at half-time. And, and that man, Vard's again, pulling out what he has done all season and, and netting a winner. But... Um, you know, it's, again, it's going to be a very, very tough game. Ronald Koeman will get his side well drilled. Um, you know, we seem to do OK um, against Southampton at home. I think we've only lost one of the last five at home to Southampton. So, you know, that dates back for 10, 15 years. But it's going to be a difficult game. Um, and it's one that I'm sure we'll be relishing. It's just whether that international break may have stopped the momentum a little bit. But it remains to be seen. Yeah, I mean, we're all looking forward to it on Sunday. Southampton are a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde side, aren't they? They can, you know, which which team's going to turn up and play us on yeah. Sunday? I think I think that's the thing. I think because we're in front of the Sky Sports cameras, there's an added pressure there to perform. Um, and sort of going back, we've never really done that well under the Sky Sports cameras. I don't know what it may be. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we can, we can carry on and, and really push and, and get the three points. But it's going to be a tough game. Are you starting to feel nervous? <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Um, again, it's a bit of both. It is, it's a mixture of both. Um, the nerves are there, but they're good nerves because I just want to make sure that we carry on from where we left off. Yeah. I, I went down and uh, had a meeting last week uh, with the guys from Arsenal Fan TV and, and Red Men TV. And all, all these people are saying, you're going to do it now, you're going to do it now. And I'm sort of like, no. <laughs> I, keep, I think you're just trying to wind us up by saying no. that. <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> Just look forward to the Southampton game and see yeah. how that goes. Uh, you got a little score prediction for us, Dan? Tough game. Um, again, I fancy the draw. Um, I'm always, I always like to sit on the fence, so if we do win, you know, I've got there's no expectation there. Um, two all goals in the game. And who, who do you think will score? Again, I can't look any further than Vardy, just no. because he's 2-2 two two for England. Um, and I fancy Wes Morgan. I, I know what you mean. I tend to, if I have a bet on the match, I tend to bet that Leicester will lose because <laughs> I hope I lose my bet every week. But I think, well, if we ever do lose, which exactly. is really the last, last exactly. year, it doesn't have win -win. I've been losing a lot of money. But I think, well, at least when we were back in the Championship or even League One and you were thinking, oh, I thought at least if, if we do lose, it, it's like a sweetener at the end of the day to yeah, win a few exactly. quid. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like you. I, I think it's going to be an interest. It, it's going to depend which Southampton side turns up, whether it'll be... It could be quite a straightforward victory for us, or it yeah. could be a tough, tough, tough game. Well, we all know what they did against Liverpool. Um, so, you know, anything can happen in the game of football. Nobody expected them from, to come two goals down and, and win the game 3 2. So, we've got to make sure that we perform to how we've been performing. OK, thanks, Dan. Thanks for joining us. We'll pick up with you after the game and, and get the, the stats from the match. Fingers crossed, three points. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dan. See Take you. Care. Bye bye.